we're going to show you how to calculate uh, the ratios and the frequencies from the meter to utilize the K factor, the DOT of uh, DOT 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to bring a meter to, uh, in a sense, linearize a meter. What you have is you have the known flow rate from some standard. This is an uh, uh, a NIST standard, and they created the condition of 40.891 liters per minute, which converts to uh, cubic meters per hour, 60 times B1 over 1,000. You can see up here in the, the number. Escape. And what we have is when that condition was created, the meter, when scaled to 4 to 20 equals 0 to 200 liters per minute, is... Uh, is this many liters per minute that the flow meter indicated. This 7.639 calculates to, from, from this milliamps, 50, 12.5, A1. This is a standard 4 to 20 for 0 to 200 liters per minute. So this is the, the flow rate in liters per minute calculated from the milliamps. And then this is the uh, cubic meters per hour from this flow rate. And then we calculate the frequency from the meter. The frequency, this is the K factor written on the side of the meter. This frequency is D12 times F1. The frequency, I mean times, <clears throat> I'll call it F1. It should be uh, cubic meters 1 over 3600. So we have 55 hertz and we got the, the frequency from the standard should be saying 49 hertz. Therefore, in order to get 49 hertz from the 55 hertz from the meter, we issue a correction factor of 0 0.899. 0 0.899 times 55 equals 49.688. So what we do is we put an array into the meter of five elements that allows us to correct the frequency from the device, the raw language of the of a vortex meter, and the term in mean other meters, but the raw language is frequency. We convert the frequency to the other raw language is in cubic meters per hour. So we're going to take the frequency, and from this frequency, 0.899, then we have another measurement. Uh, they're very near near one. So this one was the outlier. In other, in other words, the low low flow threw off the entire meter. So we're linearizing it and bring it in into, so we're going to put these um, 10 elements, our five sets of uh, twos, into the meter that we'll show you later on. Here is the frequency equals K times QV over 3600. QV is cubic meters per hour, and K is this number written on the meter. So that's how we calculate these frequencies. So we only need to put these numbers in. So I'm going to now show you how that's done on the meter. Accessing menu 44, there are two buttons. Write one, hold long for four. Hold long right, signal type. We're going to go K line adjust, hold long. We're going to leave the switch on, right click, save. We're going to adjust, we're going to go to coefficient one. So coef coefficient one is 0 0.898, which is already set. And the frequency for, for coefficient one is 55.27 hertz. That'll be seen from the from the spreadsheet. We're going to go and now adjust DOT2. So we'll go to 2 right here. We want to adjust the coefficient for DOT2. Coefficient for DOT2 according to the spreadsheet is 1. So left click to increment the number, right click to go to the next one, left, left click to select a point. We don't even need a point in here and right click to advance. It's 1.002, so really we'll just call it 1.0. Right click hold. Now we're gonna set the frequency for two. Right click hold, and we're gonna set the frequency 
to 98.18 hertz. So we're going to go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right click, 8. Remember the left button increments the numbers. If you if you go to the right click, um, whoops, so I'm going to go all the way around to 8. 898 point. So we're going to increment to point. Point. 98.18. Um, this is the number. The left one is a number. Right one is increment. If you mess up, you start again. So now we have uh, uh, frequency for DOT 1 and 2. You do uh, 3, 4, and 5 just the same. Once you're done, I'm going to now show you how to save. Switch is on. That means we're going to use this function. Save. Right-click hold. And it says yes. If I click here, it'll say no. Uh, when it says yes, right-click hold. It'll save, and it puts the coefficients in the machine, and you're done. Left-click, hold. We'll get you out of the menu. And left-click again. So here's the normal menu. That is it.